A ZK EVM is a zero-knowledge Ethereum virtual machine. It's been credited as the ultimate scaling solution for Ethereum. In this video, I'm going to talk about how ZK rollups work. We're going to look at some of the teams building on ZK technology. And at the end, I'm going to leave you with a conspiracy theory about how I think this might play out. My name is James Puccini. On this channel, I create content about blockchain development and decentralized finance. If you want to stay up to date, then subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. When a user sends a transaction to a ZK rollup, it goes through a sequencer which batches all the transactions together and then sends it to the layer two blockchain. The blockchain network have computes the trusted implicit state, which is the state changes of those transactions. So if Alice sends Bob a certain amount of funds, then it changes the balances. That is the state change. The state is what's kind of perpetual storage on the blockchain network. The job of the ZK EVM prover is to prove that those transactions made this changes to the state. It essentially uses zero knowledge circuits to compute the same information as the Ethereum virtual machine. The final state is then stored on the layer two blockchain and the validity proof is sent to the layer one Ethereum mainnet. What this effectively does is it creates a scaling capability. It moves a lot of the transactional and computational requirements to a layer two computer rather than the scarce resource of the layer one blockchain network. Great, so let's roll this out. We can get cheap, fast transactions on Ethereum, right? Well, it's not that simple. The issue is that all the teams working on this are all using a central code base, which is 30,000 lines of code provided by the scaling and explorations team it's funded by the Ethereum Foundation. This code is complex ZK circuits. We just don't have the same systems and auditing processes and tools to ensure this code is robust. There's a lot that we don't know that we don't know about the security of zero knowledge technology. For this reason, a lot of the teams working on ZK rollups are either in testnet currently, or they're releasing mainnet products with what are called in training wheels. This is varying degrees of centralization, such as having a centralized sequencer and prover. What this does offer a backup plan if something goes wrong, it also leads to centralization, which provides single points of failure for the network. Now let's take a look at some of the teams building out ZK EVM based rollups. The first is Polygon, who has a mainnet beta product launching on March 27th. This is going to be launching with training wheels, centralized sequence approver, etc. One of the key factors about Polygon is that they have their Matic token. This is liquid, it's available on most exchanges. And this is one of the few ways you can actually kind of gain exposure as an investor to the potential narrative of ZK rollups in the future. Bear in mind, this is already a high market cap token, so it's not like there's huge upside from an unknown project. The next project is ZK Sync. They've launched their mainnet beta product called ZK Era. This was ZK Sync 2.0 basically. And that's actually live right now. You can kind of go and deploy code there and experiment with a working mainnet beta product for the ZK rollups on Ethereum. ZK Sync are also developing a hyperchain SDK. And this is similar to the Cosmos ecosystem where third parties can go in and create modular ZK app chains. The next project is Tyco. These guys are developing kind of an Ethereum compatible ZK EVM, which is kind of the holy grail of what we're looking to try and do, but they're not expecting to do a mainnet launch for at least a year. Finally, we have Scroll, who are building a native ZK EVM based rollup, and they're expecting to launch kind of Q2, beginning of Q3 this year. All the teams we've spoken about are using the same ZK circuits, which are provided by the Privacy and Scaling Explorations team, which is a team funded by the Ethereum Foundation. If you have a look in their GitHub repository, there's also a repository for a ZK EVM chain, which is under active development. My Tim Foil Hack conspiracy theory is that perhaps the Privacy and Scaling team are going to launch their own Layer 2 blockchain, an official ZK rollup on Ethereum. And this is going to kind of be a network of machines which all have greater interoperability between them and the ability to move funds around between layer one and layer two, almost like having a native layer, layer zero data messaging system between the different chains. This will give us a network of layer two rollups that we can connect to, which almost act like a single entity, moving a lot of that computation power away from the Ethereum mainnet and increasing the scaling capabilities of the network. If this does happen, I expect teams like Polygon will move their ZK rollup away from using the Ethereum mainnet as their parent to using probably the alternate layer one Polygon that we're familiar with today as the parent chain for their ZK rollup. 
This is purely based on speculation. I have no insider information about what the Ethereum Foundation are planning. It's almost certainly going to be wrong to some degree. I hope you've enjoyed this video. My name is James Buccini. If you want to stay up to date with the crypto markets and the blockchain sector, then subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and thank you for watching.